Oh man, we doing a Metroid video. So I already know what he about to do. Here we go. Feels so good. Okay, what is going on everybody? How are y'all doing? Alright, come on Metroid, behave during the video. It's my pet, right here. Nice Metroid, nice Metroid, nice Metroid. Alright, we have some dope Nintendo Switch news for this video. But before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. We're going to get right to the news. Only one news item for this video, bro. But we're going to talk about it, bro. Swedish retailer it has just listed Metroid Prime Trilogy coming to the Nintendo Switch on June 19th. A couple reasons we're going to talk about it. I'm going to share both sides of the coin, why I think this could be happening, and why it can't be happening. First, June 19th, they went specific with the date. Usually, when retailers list a placeholder date, it is the 30th or the 31st, December 31st, um, at the end of the month, meaning that they know that it's coming out this month, but at the end of the month, or... They know it's coming out this year, so they put December 31st as a placeholder for two, for 2020. But the fact that they list June 19th, that's a specific date, means that possibly, if this is legit, that means they've learned, they know something, and they, they've listed the date ahead of time. And so, this is what I say. I tweeted this out on Twitter. Make sure you dudes are following your boy on Twitter at Obi One Plays. This is what I just tweeted out on Twitter. Not just, but not too long ago. I tweeted out, um, Nintendo has been doing things differently all 2020. I legit wouldn't be surprised if Metro Trilogy does actually stealth drop in three weeks. It's an HD port that's already been ported before. Y'all acting like it's a new game. Because I did see a couple of tweets saying, No way! Is Nintendo gonna stealth drop Metroid? Not Metroid, it's a port, bro! Um, I understand if this was Metroid Prime 4. I was gonna say even Metroid... Samus Returns for the 3DS, but nah, even that, that's a port. <coughs> this is not just a port of old GameCube games. It's a port of a port. This is already ported to the Wii. This is the Wii trailer. I like saying Wii. This is a port of the Wii. And so, this isn't, in my mind, this has never been like a big release. Because it's a port. It's a port. So, on one hand, Nintendo could very easily shadow drop this game. Two ways. They could shadow drop it, and it could be just a digital release, and then they announce in fall. The um, retail version will, will come out in the fall. Nintendo's been pushing digital anyway, bro. They make more money. They cut out the middleman. And not just even an all digital release. We act like retailers don't know stuff before we do. Who's to say they're not prepping a retail release of this game right now as we speak? That GameStop, they Nintendo's already um, talked to GameStop, and they've already um, they have it running through their internal systems, 
and they're all they're getting ready to get the game the retail game a week before it comes that's when they usually get their games anyway a week or two weeks before they actually come out and they get the game june 12th and it launches june 19th retail that's very possible bro what nintendo did with paper mario the origami king they just surprised us and was like boom um <laughs> we got a new paper mario game coming at the end of june who is to say nintendo can't have a surprise uh, uh, not even surprise uh, so yeah a surprise metroid trilogy trailer boom it the trailer drops june 2nd june 2nd metroid prime trilogy um they re re they announced it they they revealed the trailer and two weeks later the game comes out on the switch we're acting like that's impossible bro it's 2020 bro anything is possible in 2020 bro you didn't think you'd be walking around with face masks right now but you are 2020 has been a crazy year and the fact that nintendo um is not having a nintendo direct this could have been what they would have shown in their june nintendo direct paper mario could have been what they were showing in their june direct we don't no, bro. And so, do not count out a Metroid Prime Trilogy stealth. Not even, I wouldn't even say stealth at this point. An announcement at the beginning of June. We still got a week left in May, bro. This is June 19th. <laughs> That's almost a month. That's almost a month from now. Who's to say what could what kind of announcements Nintendo's not going to have in a month? They could announce the game at the beginning of June and it releases um, June 19th retail and digital. That is very likely another reason why. Bro, Paper Mario, the Origami King is available July 17th. Bro, y'all remember at the end of this trailer perfect timing y'all remember at the end of this trailer what game did they tease bro do you think it's just an accident or nintendo was teasing us don't forget about that and the final reason why i think this is possible this game launches July 17th. It's a, do you think it's a coincidence? It's the same day as... Um, um, uh, what's that name? Ghost of Tsushima. The Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima is launching the same day as... Um, um, of, as this game. You think it's a coincidence? No. Nintendo is competing, bro. Even though they say they're not competing, they're competing. You know what else is coming out in June? Huh? PlayStation isn't being quiet in June. The Last of Us 2 drops in June, bro. Um, They originally wasn't going to announce it. I need to look it up look up real quick when is the release date for last of us 2 when is the release date for last of us 2 i'm gonna tell you right now june 19th bro the last of us 2 comes out on june 19th who is to say Met, um, Nintendo doesn't want to compete with The Last of Us 2. And so it's very possible. They've done it with Paper Mario. So all I, I presented a lot of evidence why it could happen. We'll have to wait and see. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about 
a Metroid Prime trilogy launching on June 19th? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bro, we out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one place. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.